Today is December 30th, 2023. In a matter of two days, it'll be the year 2024. And I will finish this year uh, not accomplishing what I had hoped to accomplish, which is, which is, uh, which is essentially to create a track record that I have become consistently profitable. So it's going to have to be on, uh, next year or maybe the year after. However long it takes, I'm in it for the long haul. So, uh, for the past several days, uh, I have <clears throat> essentially stopped trading my uh, TD Ameritrade account because it has essentially dwindled down to practically $7 in my trading account. And uh, I thought to myself, you know, uh, I'll hold off on trading that for now. There is more uh excitement in uh in in prop firm challenges and so i am now taking on a couple of uh prop firm challenges why have i uh switched from demo trading uh prop firm demo to actual challenges uh there's a couple factors i found out that I am able to take massive risks and in demo mode and pass it multiple times, sequentially too. And then I've discovered that there is a, uh, a trend kind of thing that allows me to take advantage of the trend. Now the other part is the prop firm challenges are what I've discovered uh, outside of uh, FTMO is that it is extremely affordable and so I could I could <clears throat> essentially uh, blow out of these challenges like six times and it would equal to one FTMO challenge and I wish I knew that earlier but it took a long time for me to realize that uh, realize it I even took on a, a 50k challenge and a 100k challenge I thought oh my god I'm gonna pass this <laughs> I'm gonna pass it not even prepared uh, to pass, and yet I said I was going to pass. And it's like, it's like lounging around for 20 years, and then all of a sudden, I'm saying to the world that I will run the marathon. Okay, Even people who prepared, uh, in a way, is probably not prepared to go on that marathon run. So what I decided to do at this point, and I will carry this over to next year, and what I'm going to do is keep studying Al Brooks trading. I'm going to keep studying it, watch it like 10 to 20 times every video that he's got. And some of these videos are like 40 minutes long or 50 minutes long. Watching that for like uh, 10 to 20 times, it's, it's 24 hours per one video and he's got hundreds of videos and then at the same time I will use a very affordable uh, low amount of trading uh, from a prop firm and once and once I break through once I break through and actually get a payout then I will start to uh, challenge one level up so currently i have a 5k uh, challenge i have two of them i also have a 6k challenge which i have two of them so i currently uh, have approximately uh, uh, i currently have four uh prop from challenges right now and once i pass those i will i will upgrade myself up after i get a payout so that's the plan that I have for the foreseeable future now, because 
the the expense that I incur using these platforms, which now is more affordable, uh, I am able to afford it uh, and learn at the same time. And because the the uh, challenges are of a smaller amount, uh, the the profit target is actually smaller too, and so things are uh, looking good so far. And so what I've noticed about is that when I stop trading TD Ameritrade, TD Ameritrade has their own uh, graphical interface for their brokerage firm to to trade and so they have think or swim and the other is that that when i um they also have yeah it's think or swim and uh so that that has a particular feature which which for me is a limiting factor which is uh stop loss is an integral part of my strategy right now okay if i can maintain uh, eighty percent win to loss ratio. Okay, uh, that means that that means that if I have a stop loss uh, enforced, that means out of those out of those uh, twenty percent of times that I lose, then I, I lose small amount, but using a stop loss, and that allows me to do that on MT four and MT five. So with a eighty percent win rate and a stop loss uh, stop loss and profit taking strategy enforced that's going to allow me to be consistently profitable while chasing the trend when that happens then once i uh once i pass this challenge once i pass this challenge and get a payout then i can look forward to moving up at higher and higher and higher and these higher, higher denominations will be far, far easier to deal with and, and allow me to distinguish the, uh, the emotional impact of higher denominations from all the other uh, impacts that I would feel because I would already have uh, ironed out any other issues that I have, such as setups and emotions, whatever, whatever those things are, at a lower denomination. And when I inch up, the only difference should be everything is the same except for the emotion of higher denomination. So I've been looking and searching on YouTube, and there is a uh, software called MQL5. MQL5 apparently is essentially a programming language that that is able to create a bot a trading bot and it is a software that is very similar to uh c, pro c programming it's very similar it's very similar to c syntax it has a very similar uh similar uh functions uh it has similar way of entry it has it, it is it has it has like on in it on uh on end and there's there's like an on click so there's a so there's a there's a there's a it's, it's similar to similar to a program language that i have used before and so before before i recognized this trading has been just uh, finger clicking so far just finger clicking and now there is a possibility for me to enable these uh, it's it's um it's just, they, they have a special name for these scripts and uh and i can utilize these uh program codes uh trading codes to allow me to automatically when i when i click on it it automatically surrounds itself with a profit target and a stop loss that will protect me from uh Miss uh, these these sharp jagged edges that 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 could possibly occur, uh, and so despite the fact that I have, uh, despite the fact that I I graduated with a essentially a hardware degree uh, from a university, it turned out that mu uh, 
quite a bit of time was uh, quite a bit of time was spent in my career using software. And so what I attempt what I'm attempting to do is uh, say that uh, this software is has caused me to come to a full circle. I've come a full circle from the point where I was. Um, where I was um, discharged as an engineer, okay? I was discharged as an engineer, okay? Uh, due to these legal things. Nowadays, if, uh, uh, nowadays, if you, uh, I think, uh, nowadays, if you play football for the NFL, and if you, and if you get a, uh, some sort of a legal issue with, with minor offenses, they could cut you. They can, they could, they could, they could uh, sever ties with you, and so that's very similar to what the engineering environment is as well. Because engineering environment, they wanna, they want to make sure that they have the, uh, because these people get paid quite a bit of money, right? And so they wanna keep, they wanna uphold the standard of individuals who work as an engineer. And uh, I can see why somebody like me, I would be disqualified from ever being an engineer anymore uh, because of the criminal background that I have, right? So one thing that's one thing that is uh, that has rekindled uh, the past is that this is software that I could use to eventually create a bot. Okay, once I once I get tired of like uh, mouse clicking to trade, I can write a bot and create the exact same thing that I do to make the trade and use a bot to trade for me, okay? It'll just seek out for a particular situation where I would be looking at it. And then once I recognize it, then I jot down what things that are, uh, are visible when that happens. Code it in a language where it creates the exact replica of what I see. And then when I do that, then the bot will enter the trade, set the stop loss, take the prof, uh, set the profit target, and allow it to run. And when that happens, and based on the, the statistical uh, data that I have generated so far, which is essentially about 80% of the time, right? And so that can be traded automatically without me having to open a trade today or open a trade tomorrow or, or I could just set it, go on vacation, come back about a week later and see what's happening. I could just look at it, log in and see what's doing. I can just, so it's, it's essentially, it's going to be like a uh, bot number one, bot number two, I'll name them like, I'll name them, in, they're, they'll be named, uh, in a certain way, right? There'll be like, one bot will be called Mike uh, Rally, right? A rally, right? <laughs> the other is uh, Spike uh, uh, Boom, okay? So, this, so the first name will have just, just arbitrary names, common human being names. The second, second uh, surname will have the representation of what the t uh, setup is. I could probably uh, possibly do that in the future. For the past several days, I have like, I mean, practically almost a week, essentially. Um, I have been hunched over this desk. Uh, just dozing off. I'm studying, I'm listening, and uh, I've done that. And, and, and the reason that I did that is because uh, Forex is 24 hours for five days out of the week. And therefore, I could look at it at 2 o'clock in the morning, and I could be trading at 3 o'clock in the morning as well. I could be trading at 4 a.m., Okay, or 2 a.m. or 3 a.m., whatever the situation is. I could be trading at 10 o'clock. And so 
when there is a quiet period where I have achieved a certain level of of gains, then I can just doze off. And when I doze off, it's like all that hard work of washing dishes, lifting these 10 to 20 pound things, carrying it here, putting it here, closing the door, opening it, and running around and taking care of all this, the fatigue sets in and causes me to be um, uh, dozing off. <laughs> so the next step, it, it looks like to me, that that despite the fact that I uh, because I've forgotten so much about the code uh, I'm not jumping into it right now because I, I recognize what's going on so I, I need I need to I need to create a couple of things one of them is the uh, and I've already thought about this in my head uh, about how the code will operate how will this code operate um, okay so if I use this stop loss in a US 30, okay, if I, if I use that on US 30, and if I use it on the regular stocks, uh, or if I do it on a Forex pair, now, what would the co code, uh, what, the dif what would the differences be between these codes? Okay, that's something that I need to think about. And um, so... So this coming week, which is going to be uh, the second, uh, two, three, four, five, right? There's four days. The first, uh, July, uh, uh, January 1st is uh, New Year's Day. The market is closed. But Forex will open in the evening hours of, of New Year's Day, okay? That's when it begins. And then on a Friday at around the evening time, then uh, Forex will close, okay? So that's how things will be. So this coding thing that I used to, to use uh, quite often as an engineer, uh, I am now having to go back and, and, uh, and use it. Uh, I'm currently using borrowed code. I took it off of, uh, I did a search on it and there's, but right now it is, it is not dialed in the way that I want it. So I want to rewrite that code. Hopefully, hopefully this, this, this YouTube channel is going to document something like that. And uh, I would love to create a bot. I would love to have, I would love to have 100 bot employees. <laughs> and each of them will be making, making money for me. And there's absolutely no expense that these bots will incur, okay? So if I create a bot, okay, if I create a bot, this bot will just run, okay? It, it'll just run uh, automatically. Even if I log off, it's running. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe not. It has to be, it has to be engaged in a session. So if I have, oh, that's why there's like a, that's why there's that's why there's a there's a server that I can park my bot that runs just 24 hours even if I log off here. So that's why I can rent. So it, once once I become once wow this is this, this is getting very interesting. Once I once once I become profitable, and when I become profitable, then I can document exactly what I do to be profitable. That I can code that and translate into a coding language that will form and give birth to a bot, a birth. It, it, is a, um, it, is a, it is a bot. I'll give birth to a bot, okay? And once I give birth to a bot, then I'll figure something out to, to create another bot, okay? That's the way it's going to be. Right now, I have not even touched the code yet. I'm looking at it. I'm doing some research into it. Uh, it seems very viable. Uh, it looks like it's common knowledge on YouTube as well. I've seen uh, there's 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 several channels that I've uh, subscribed to. I'm I'm watching what they do. They describe. They're very good at describing how the code is written. Um, how the code is used. Uh, there's documentation everywhere. I could buy books. Um, 
So at this point, what I'm doing right now is studying out Brooks, uh, doing these inexpensive uh, trading challenges, trading, uh, tr uh, trading uh, firm challenges, and then I'll investigate the uh, integration of uh, MQL5 into my, to, so that I could, I could evolve, I could, uh, I could then now uh, uh, move in the direction of automatic trading.